Welcome to Monkey Box Craft. I'm Debra, and it's the 16th of March. And today I'm going to share with you what flowers I'm going to try and grow this year in the northeast of Scotland. Depending on where you're situated, you will have varying results. I've never really tried to grow flowers before. I always wanted my garden to be more fruit and veg based but I do realise it's really quite lovely to have flowers in the garden and it's really nice for the bees. So I've picked up a few varying different varieties of flowers, mostly because I just like the look of them. I have no idea if they'll actually grow in my garden, but we're about to find out. I've already kind of prepped. I'm just using this John Innes seed sowing compost. Most of these flowers do seem like they're going to be pretty easy to propagate, but I do have one that might not be quite so easy. Himalayan poppy. I've been told these aren't that easy to propagate, so we'll find out, shall we? Let's start with these guys. So a lot of these seeds were actually getting sold off for a pound. Sunflower claret F1, so a red sunflower. Bear in mind, I don't know how to pronounce half of these. The variety is called red plume. Hollyhock, Black Knight. Chinese Lantern, tiny little seeds. Last up on this side, Passion Flower. Water them in. Move on to the next side. First up, we've got this little white flower. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one either. A petunia, Storm Lavender. These are really pretty. Oh, this is how these guys come, those little seeds. Can't wait to throw these everywhere. Marigolds are up next. Look at them. How the marigolds look. Another one that I can't pronounce. Very pretty pink shades. That's how they look. Lobelia. I don't know how to pronounce that one either. It maybe looks like the blue they are, but it is more a purpley, lilac-y colour. It's very much more purple than blue, but we'll see what it's like when it grows. More tiny seeds. Oh, super tiny seeds. Guess who I've just found? Oh, he's disappeared. And we'll go and put you back outside, mate. Can you see him there? That's her little friend, her little spider friend out the way. Another Lobelia. This one's definitely much bluer. So just for comparison to when you put them next to each other, these ones do look a lot more purple. But it'd be really interesting to see how similar they are, how different they are in real life. The seeds are just as tiny as the last ones. Same family, different variety. Nasturgeums, baby rose. So I do actually have nasturgeums in my garden. I said I've got the yellowy orange ones. I'm really interested to see what the pink ones look like. So that's what the seeds look like. And we'll just water those in. So they're all watered in. That's them all labelled. This is the second ones we did. Pop on my propagator lid and pop them out the way. Next up, this was all the second row flowers we did, is I'm going to pop a couple of seeds of each into each one of these pots. Hopefully I can just put these straight into hanging baskets and pots around the garden. I don't know if this will work or not, but we're going to try it. I've tried to pick flowers as well that are hardy annuals, that are perennials as well. Cover all them up. We shall also give them a good watering. We'll pop them out the way and wait for them to grow. Last up is the Himalayan poppies. After reading a little bit more about these, these are definitely not the easiest to grow. I'm not sure if my garden is ideally situated for them, but if we're the optimist, I'm going to give these guys a try. You do grow as normal. Cover with a polythene bag to retain moisture. After two weeks, place in your refrigerator, removing from the fridge when germination first occurs, usually 14 to 35 days. You can just feel these are going to be the smallest seeds ever, can't you? That's how the poppy seeds look. You only get 25 of these. I might keep a few just in case. So let's sprinkle a little bit more compost over the top. We shall water these in. Give this one a little tag as well. Pop down some cling film just to give them one little greenhouse. And we'll give these guys two weeks and then pop them in the refrigerator. I've also covered these with cling film as well, just to give them a little mini greenhouse because I'm out of propagators. So all the plants are sown. Now we wait. It's the 22nd of March, 2020. I think it's been one week since we planted these. That's my flower mix all sprouting. Flowers are starting. There's a few seedlings starting to pop up now. Here's the other side. I have had these guys inside up until now. Yeah, because it's a nice warm day, I thought I'd take them outside. If it gets really cold later on, I will pop them back inside again. It's now Monday the 30th of March, 2020, and I thought I'd let you know how I'm getting on my flower seeds. So let's go take a look. This is how the flower seeds are looking. Definitely very leggy. I think I might have planted them a little bit too early, but it's done now, so we're gonna keep going and see what happens to them. The sturgeons are doing really well. Sunflowers are very laggy. Everything's very laggy. I've popped them outside now. Pop this back on. Pop on the properly a lid. And they're now living outside in the deck in, in my cold frame. Poppies. Himalayan poppies. 
I planted these guys two weeks ago, I think now. And as per instructions on the packet, it now says, after two weeks, place in your fridge for a cooling period, removing when germination first occurs. Usually 14 to 35 days. So, we're gonna do that now. Now where they're gonna live in the refrigerator, maybe down here. I'll pop them in there. And we'll leave them until they germinate. It's the 6th of April. And I can't wait any longer. So earlier today, I went out and have planted a load of the seedlings. I'm gonna show you what I've done. This is everything left in the seed tray for the flowers. I had six of these in a good mix, so I've, been put, I've put a few of them around the garden, different pots and different hanging baskets. So a lot of these seeds are really, really tiny, as you can see with the ones that are left. But I think it's time to get them planted and get ready for spring and summer. Basically, I just can't wait to get some colour in the garden. So we've got some hanging baskets here. Pop some nasturtiums in here. All along this back fence is where all the flowers are mostly going to be. And I have popped some flowers into this middle black planter here. And all in here. Now I know it's probably a tiny bit early to be planting my seedlings, but I can't wait. So fingers crossed, they hold and they grow. And this summer my garden will be lovely and colourful. It is Monday the 13th of April. I think the Himalayan poppy seeds have been in the fridge now for two weeks. Take these out of here. One tiny little seedling, just there. So we'll just pop them back in, pop them back in the fridge and just leave them for a little bit longer. Still the 13th of April, 2020. Well, let's go have a little look at the flower seeds. These are coming on okay. Lemon grass is starting to do something. Passion flower and like Chinese lantern doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. Everything else, what's left in here is sprouting. So I'm gonna leave that in the propagator. I'm not sure the hanging baskets are doing too well. I just think I might have put everything out a bit too early. A few things sprouting in the middle planter. Over here to this big planter, I've ended up putting a whole lot of chicken wire over the top because I kept thinking the birds were going and picking at it. There's definitely a few signs of life in here. We'll see how that planter gets on and hopefully we'll have some lovely blooms for the summer. I'm going to end this video here on what flowers I'm growing this year for the first time. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, do leave a like, leave a little comment and tell me which flowers are your favourites. Subscribing is optional but it is very much appreciated and you can be kept up to date with what the heck happens to my flower seeds. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye!